Well hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tutorial on Kiss Everlasting French Toenails. This is great for those people that do not have the time to sit in a salon to get their nails or feet done. So, I went to my local beauty supply store and I purchased this Kiss Everlasting French Toenail for about $7 and change. This is also sold in Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, Rite Aid, or your local beauty supply store. And it shouldn't be no more than $9.99. But this comes in very handy for those that cannot get their feet done when they need it. I have worn these nails before and I wore it for about a month and a half. In my tutorial, I'm doing it my way not the instructions that's put on the box. I find that when I did it my way, it lasted longer than what the box says. So without further ado, please stay tuned and I will show you the way how I did it. At the end of this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I cleaned my nails with acetone nail polish remover before I began filing. A nail clipper may also be needed if your nails are longer than the artificial nails. But as for mine, I didn't need a nail clipper, I just went ahead and filed my two nails down. In the package you will find the different sizes of artificial nails along with a nail glue, a cuticle pusher, and a nail filer. Over here I'm going to take the cuticle pusher and push back my cuticles with the flat part that's on the stick. Just push it backwards. That way you're giving yourself more room to make the nail fit more properly. What I'm doing here is measuring the artificial nail onto my toenails just to assure myself that I have the right size. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the nail glue, take that little top off, and put a sufficient amount of glue all over my nails. Then I'm going to take the artificial nail and stick that right on top of my nails. Then just hold it down for about 5 seconds and once you let it go it should be perfect. Now you're ready to repeat the same step once again. Measure the nail, see if it is to your liking, and put the crazy glue, and then place the nail back on top of that. Hold it for 5 seconds, and everything should be fine. I know you're probably asking yourself, what am I going to do with these tabs? Flick it off. That's it. Shake it back and forth and it'll pop right off. Now 
Next, what we're going to do here is just give it a little file right there at the ends of the nail. Just file it a little bit and you should be good as new. Now, you know, we cannot forget the other foot. We're just going to repeat the same steps we did in the first part of this video. The filing, then the measuring of the nail, then adding the glue, then adding the artificial nail on top. Well guys, I hope this video was well informative for you. If you did enjoy watching it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.